Hello YouTube. How are you today? I'm making a video. Uh, actually, you haven't made one in a while. I've been really busy. But uh, I've got all the parts finally, and I'm going to make an Acrobrat. Here's the package. I've got the the uh, hype train brat motors, and then I got these DYS propellers. It was difficult to find three-inch propellers for these motors because they've got screws instead of bolts. We'll use a Unify Pro and a Luminaire Microlux V3 stack. So this is a 30 amp. 20 millimeter stack and the run cam split mini 2 right here which I have not opened but this is the final thing
I really like this Micro Lux V3. Very, very nice. I like the configuration on it, and I like the fact that the wires come through the back instead of the side. I think that's a lot nicer. This is silicone fusion tape. I've got this UFL Pagoda antenna on here. Uh, this is a Furious FPV little Pagoda antenna, and these things get really good reception, and they're pretty lightweight. You don't have all this brass connectors and stuff. It's really nice. What you really want on a UFL is if the antenna gets tugged on, you want it just to come right out of this, out of this connector. It will break off just as easy as the entire pad. The, the pad comes off, so you really want the either the cable to come off or you want the UFL to disconnect. That way you don't rip apart your nice board. Because uh, Unified Pro, they're not cheap, so. Uh, this is how I mounted the, uh, the crossfire. See the crossfire right here? And then I routed the antenna through here. So I routed the antenna through here and up this arm. And then I just do it like this so that uh, we've got the ends completely sticking out. I don't want them lined up with any of the carbon. And I don't want to snag on things when I go through gaps of things, so that's why I put it like this. But... It's about ready to put together here. Okay, the way I like to do this is this little thread nut here. I know that. Yeah. I'm just gonna tighten this in. I like the way the strap holes make you go too. It took me a little while to figure out exactly how I wanted to mount this Pagoda antenna. It's so heavy at the end, it was a little bit of a challenge, but I think this is the best solution right now without getting some big 3D printed heavy bulky thing. It does take two zip ties. That's okay. I'm gonna do the cable sever. The idea is to get this above the battery as much as possible. And I'll put a zip tie here so it leaves the stress on this. And we'll probably get it about this high. So this is 40 millimeter clear string tubing. And it barely fits on here. It's a bit of a challenge to get on, but once it's on, it's a great solution. But if you don't have this, I just use more of that silicone fusion tape. Probably won't be good. You know how to do it. Just be careful don't fall on this. And if that UF helping it. Okay. 
know they said it's at uh, 200 degrees Celsius. something. I think that Tommy came up with a great design. Yeah. I will print a piece here and uh, push the camera up for some protection out of the view of the cross. But other than that, it's full class. Thank you for coming with me and doing this with me. Appreciate it. It means a lot. So, have a wonderful day.